Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to a new series starting on the channel covering daisies, mods and total conversions. I have been busy the last few days finding mods you might find interesting. Some of them you may know already, some of them you probably don't. Keep in mind these are in no particular order, and with our first mod today I thought we'd get this one out of the way as it is an Armor 3 mod, but as we know with the modding tools once we get them in our hands it will be very easy to port mods from Armor 3, Armor 2 or maps straight to DayZ. So this will most likely, or definitely, make it into Daisy at some point in the future. And as you can see on screen, it's a rideable horse by Dino Spino. I did my interview with Dean Hall many years ago about this, and he said it probably wouldn't happen. Well, here we have the modded version in Armor 3. Huge thank you to Bam Bam for letting me use his footage. Steam Workshop links to this mod will be in the description down below. Let me know in the comments if you're looking forward to this coming to Daisy as we move on to our second mod. Up next, we have the amazingly talented Arkansas with what I consider witchcraft, as he's got a working train in Chernerus. This train will be drivable all the way around Chernerus using the train tracks, being able to switch tracks, as well as carry passengers and or loot. Again, this is a question that was asked to the devs many times over the years, including myself, and the modding community is making it happen. With the potential to be the ultimate endgame traveling base, being the ultimate faction if you have control, but other survivors will be wanting to take it off of your hands. Also, hopefully not too long from now, I will be getting the mods in my own hands to test for you guys, so keep an eye out for that video. And next up we have a Chernerus Snow Conversion by Kolobov. While Chernerus Plus is an amazing map, and the map design team have put many hours improving, tweaking, and changing areas of the map to make it stand out more from its original counterpart. You can't help but always notice the people that mention snow on Chernerus. Well, Kolobov has done it, while adding some fitting ambient effects as well as snow crunching footsteps. While I think they are the Armour 2 sound effects for snow, it is without a doubt an amazing change to the Churner as we know, offering a completely different playstyle with the cold weather. Personally, I am looking forward to seeing how players behave and try to survive in this harsher version of Churnerus. And up next we have a completely new map, totally built from scratch, called Berandian, made by Daisy Standalone CZ, and it is based on a real location in the Czech Republic. While still very much work in progress, we can see large expanses of land with canyons or possibly deep waterbeds. And that will be because Berandian is very ambitious at 420 km squared, much larger than Chernerus Plus. A great opportunity to be used as a hardcore survival experience, where you're rarely going to see other survivors and maybe can make a nice little survival compound for yourself and scavenging for food and supplies will become even more of a struggle because of the sheer size of the map. Or somebody will just add it to their modded server and fill it full of Lamborghinis to ramp over those canyons. Either way, good fun. And finally today, I want to bring to your guys' attention the Stalker Live Zone Total Conversion for DayZ. Currently, this has a version for Armor 3, which is a port from the Stalker game series. The team have made only a port of the original content made by the GCSE game world, but also made their own. So I have taken some of the concept art for you from their Discord and their Twitter, links in the description below. I also managed to record for you some toxic gas footage at the radar station near Tizzy. You can see its visual effect of the green gas coming in screen and causing your blood levels to drop. We have different masks on us, each mask offering a different amount of protection from the gas, of course the gas mask offering the most. While the gas is currently doing 100% damage with no mask on, damage and visual effects increase the further into the zone you go and is really a nice addition but only a small part of the Stalker Live Zone total conversion. The gas mask section is made by Dr. Z, but of course don't forget to check out the whole Stalker Live Zone total conversion in the links in the description below. Go and give your support to all the mods in today's video, as you can find all their links in the description also. Let's talk in the comments section below. What's your favourite mod? What are you looking forward to the most? If you've got a mod in the works, let me know for a future video covering mods for DayZ. Thank you for subscribing, and I'll see you peeps next time.